The reason we are handicapped is because hunger for God has diminished. Many things have truncated it. It is dwarfed. There are no men anymore that yearns after God. People are asking for the mantle of Babalola. Did you know that every three hours they pray in tongues for one hour in Babalola's house for close to 40 years? Did you know that during the early part of the year, for the first four months, the man goes to the mountain to spend 40 days in prayer? Are you aware of the labors of Babalola in the spirit? Do you have his hunger? If that unction rests upon you, do you have the capacity to accommodate it? I was standing on the altar, an unction came upon me, I almost collapsed. That was when I knew that instead of praying for, for dimension, we need, we need to pray for capacity. Because what is coming, it can't rest on men. They are too shallow. There's no depth, there's no capacity for the Holy Ghost to rest upon. We receive impartations, they don't last for two weeks. Because we don't have the capacity to nurture the concentrate consecration for that impartation. You go to receive an impartation from a man that spent the first six hours of his day in prayer. Do you know the level of appetite that that impartation rests on? And then your own appetite is five minutes. And then how can you accommodate that impartation? When the spirit comes, it will lift. That's why all the big men have imparted us. Yet there's no manifestation. Because appetite is not there. Appetite. It is the volume of your appetite that determines the degree of your manifestation. When you have no appetite for a spirit, you can't host the dimensions of that spirit. You may hear things and desire it. It will end in the realm of desire until hunger drives you there. And when you come before that spirit, he will allow you for a long time because he wants to, he wants to enlarge your appetite. You will come, you will pray for five minutes, you will go, he won't say anything. You will increase it to three minutes, to three hours. To, did you not read about the Azusa Street Revival? They prayed in tongues for seven hours for eight months and he told them to increase it to nine hours. What is coming? The urgency of the spirit. Their capacity have not yet been enlarged. And he needed to work on it. To work on it. So they increased. And when they began to enlarge their appetite, suddenly the move of the spirit came. That's why he said, tarry in Jerusalem until you are endued. He didn't say tarry for 10 days. He didn't say tarry for 20 days. Tarry until you are endued. When you come to that gauge of the spirit where you can accommodate it, then the wind of the spirit will move. Many people have no appetite for God. They have appetite for many things. The guy can sit and watch four matches. The guy can sit and watch three seasonal movies in three weeks. But when you say come to God's presence, suddenly he begins to windle. He begins to dwindle. He begins to, to, to drown. But he said, they that journey to the deep, they are the ones that qualify to see the wonders of God. You have not journeyed enough. Your appetite is too shallow. The measure that you are looking for, it takes appetite to accommodate it. How much of God can you accommodate? This is what we do when we besiege him. Because when you want to increase hunger, you dump yourself on God. And as you keep pressing, as you keep pressing, you may not see light in the sky. You may not see an angel walk into your room. You may not hear a voice saying, Nathaniel, my son, you are a prophet. You may not hear that. But after 40 days, you will discover that what you were doing for one hour that looked like Mount Sinai, suddenly 12 hours, you are that's when you are beginning to charge. At that point, you can begin to interact in the heavens. And when the spirit comes down, it will come, he will come down in measures unquantified. Our generation lacks hunger. We only desire manifestation, but we don't desire the presence. This is why we cannot command power. It's beyond suits. It's beyond utterance. I come to certain places and then the anointing for preaching comes on me. And I begin to touch my vocabularies. And people are shouting everywhere. One day I stop, I say, what did I say? <laughs> Sir, what did I say? <laughs> I say, wait, wait. Off, off the keyboard. What did I say? I went back and told God, help me, help me. Help me. So sometimes I come to a place, I, 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 I bombard them with instructions upon instructions. So if they don't remember anything, when they go home, they will remember hunger. They will remember encounter. If that's all they remember, any way they route it, perfect. 